Hello everyone and welcome to Canadian Redneck Channel. My name is Dave and today we're ready to start part four of our bathroom install project. Uh, I've gone ahead since our plumbing finished up and put in the other side of the doorway here because we need our walls up for uh, running the wires and so on. We'll start out by putting our electrical box here and then running some wires where they need to go to uh, power everything. So we'll uh, get set up, get started at that, and you can come along for the ride. We have our power supply wire coming from downstairs where the panel runs. So we'll get it ready to fasten in the box here for hooking everything else up to. Start off by clearing about six inches of insulation off of the uh, off the wire, the outside insulation. Now we'll hook our ground wires into the screws in the box. So this is a bathroom. There's going to be a light switch on the outside here, which will power a light inside, of course. And there's also going to be an electrical outlet inside that I want to have power all the time, whether the light's on or not. So this will be this one is your power coming in. This will be the power for the uh, uh, outlet. So I'm going to have to splice those together along with a short piece of feeder line to go to the electrical switch. I've cut the hole in the bathroom wall for our outlet uh, box here and fished the wire through from the back side. So we'll tighten that into place. Here in New Brunswick, it's code that you have to have a GFIC receptacle in your bathroom. Uh, so we'll be installing that. It's a little bit different than a regular receptacle, not very much, but so the first thing we do is hook our ground wire underneath the screw in the box. Strip these wires before we have the receptacle in the way. So this green screw on the end of the receptacle is the uh, uh, ground screw. And this receptacle has holes on the bottom of it. Uh, the screws on the side here just float in and out. You put your wire in the uh, hole in the base and tighten the screw up to lock it in place. for making a light fixture for the bathroom so I went and bought a bunch of these lamp sockets take a little screw in stem in the bottom and you can fasten them through board and I've cut some boards got things ready and I've got two fastened on here already and we'll go ahead and fasten on the third and wire up our light sockets 
get it back. The set screw out before you can screw the stem in. Yeah. These stems are longer than I need, but the shorter ones are too short, so Murphy's Law, right? Anyway, these sockets come apart in two pieces like that. Grab a nut and a washer, we put this through the hole in the board. So our next step is to wire up the sockets and I've just got some old cords from old appliances and stuff, uh, lamps or whatnot, which should do nicely for this. And they feed right through the stems. And then the base, the other end of the socket, the internal part slides out. And there's two screws on here. One connector is for the socket part, and the other is for the tab down in the bottom. The socket part would be your white wire when you hook it into the power. That's your neutral line with the center tab in the bottom being the hot. So I've got all the wires at the other end split apart, ready to bear. And what we're going to do first is find the neutral on each of these sockets and trace it back. And we're only going to strip the neutrals for now to start with so that we can keep them separate. Okay, so that's that side on that one, which is this one. Now I've cut a regular piece of the household wire to fasten to these for running through the wall to hook into our electrical box. Uh, I've cut it about four feet long, probably longer than I really need, but uh, it's one of those things, it's better to have it a little long than to find out when you're going to hook everything up that it's too short, because that'll be terribly inconvenient then. We're ready now to start putting together the housing I guess you would call it of the light fixture and so we've got some boards here pre-cut ready to start putting together and I've got holes drilled in this uh, just the right size that the light socket sit, sits fits through so we'll start with that on the bottom here and we'll put these this is going to be oops, the front of the fixture that will face out away from the wall. Put these squared up in here and tighten up the clamp here on the table. So I've got the bottom set up on the table here 
and this will be, I guess for lack of a better term, the front. It will be facing out away from the wall. And then we've got our sides here. And... So I'm going to start with this side here, and I've got it set on the table so I can set that on and get everything squared up nicely. And I'll go back against that heel. So we have the main body of our light fixture finished now. So now we're ready to uh, work on attaching our shades for over the bulbs. And I have these rigged right here. I imagine a lot of you already recognize what that is. All right, I'm gonna attach the shades now. So make sure that everything's looking how it wants to, how I want it to look. And uh, when I get that done, I'll give you a peek of the finished project. And there we have it. A mason jar light fixture fit for every redneck home. Okay, moment of truth. I got the breaker turned on downstairs. Now to give it a try. And we have light. So, I gotta get a faceplate for the switch. But that finishes up the electrical portion of the bathroom install. So, we'll close this segment out there. Uh, hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me while I'm tinkering around in the house. And uh, uh, next time when you come back, we'll get started at our doorway here so that People can like sit down and use the washroom in private. They kind of like that sort of thing. So, uh, for now, you know, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below. Uh, like, subscribe, share uh, the video with people that you know that you think might be interested. And as always, have a great day.